Hello everyone, I'm here with the uh, autograph after 20... Autograph. Uh, uh, autograph, yeah, well, autograph is in Europe and autograph in Latin America. And where's the Autobahn? Germany. Uh, probably, <laughs> and, and Belgium, maybe. Okay, this is the reunion. Uh, we have Kenny, Randy, Steve, and Simon here. They're going to tell us what's going on with you. Uh, Steve, I'm going to start with you. How are you? I'm doing great. Yeah? Yeah. Happy first time here with the, guy, the guys, right? Yeah, this is my first rehearsal with them. They've had two before this, so, yeah, it felt really good. Yeah. It just, it just came together so naturally, too. It was really nice. Yeah. How was it when, when you drew Joe up and, and you saw the guys uh, again? Oh, we all kissed and hugged. And, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we was, kissed more than yeah. hugged. <laughs> exactly. Well, was it 26 years since we had that uh, yeah, honeymoon think, suite, or was it 28 years? Yeah, yeah it was, I think it was. Uh, Kenny and I figured out it, it had been about uh, 26 years since we had seen years. each other, until today, actually. Yeah, so a long wow. time. Yeah. Randy, come close this way. Come, come here mm -hmm. so right, they sure. can look at you. I know you are tall, but uh, okay, you come here. Okay, the, you stay there. Okay. <laughs> and you, Steve. Okay, somewhere because I'm trying to see at the screen. I want to look at all of you. Okay. Yeah, very good. Okay, so look at the screen and stay somewhere. Uh, Randy, yeah. so what have you been doing lately? Uh, lately, I had a, a business um, doing uh, leather co uh, dog collars and stuff, and. I don't want to do it anymore. I want to play rock and roll again. No, oh, exactly. That's good. And with these guys, with these guys. Tell, tell me your your feeling when when you saw together. Well, it, it took us forever. I mean, I ran into Lynch a couple of years ago at the Nam show, Nam and show, then we yeah. started talking to each other, and we realized we still liked each other, which is weird in rock and roll bands. <laughs> and then we, uh, we were roommates for six years, so but and we still liked each other then too. So it's an amazing thing, yeah. <laughs> And then I, I went to Kenny's art show and we ran into him there. And then that's kind of where the seeds started again. It was like, ah, like, I like these guys. Let's see where we go with this now. And now I'm blown away, to tell you the truth. Really blown away. It's awesome. It's fun to play with these guys again, especially this knucklehead. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. We have yeah. Simon here. Where yeah, we're Simon, gonna what's happening, uh, Simon? Here, here's the thing. This is our third rehearsal. And Lucas, what do you think? Uh, awesome. Here's ten dollars. Uh, what? Okay, okay. what? <laughs> amazing, amazing. Oh, right. I come tomorrow on every rehearsal. You're welcome. Awesome. Anytime. Awesome. Anytime, man. So, Kenny, uh, yeah. before awesome. I'm going to talk to you, I'm you sure. tell me, uh, how was the process of, of reunion? How, how, who called who and, and how was... Uh... Uh, for me, it started uh, with my art show. I started painting a few years ago and I guess Randy saw it on Facebook, contacted each other and he actually came and Randy and I were never close you know, in autograph. We were, we were just always around each other but we never really bonded. And something through my art, and Randy came down, we actually sat down, we had dinner in Marino del Rey by his beach house. We actually sat together for a couple hours and it was magical. And we had never had that before and we talked about someday. Well about Christmas time, <laughs> I was laying around bed one day, had nothing to do. Uh, and I listened to all three records back to back to back. And I went, my God. So I called Randy and said, have you ever listened to all of our stuff back to back to back? How long has it been? He said, 20 years. I said, 23 for me. And that kind of just started this thing going, this little light. And it got bigger and bigger. And all of a sudden, somebody contacted me from Facebook that knew me in ninth grade 39 years ago and said, hey, I know this guy that's got a boat and the monster's a rock. And I said, yeah, right. So then I got the number from uh, Mr. Larry Morand. He called and uh, we started talking to Lynch and Randy was in communication with Lynch. And then Lynch and I got in communication. Our first talk was like four hours. Yes. We started writing new material and uh, it just started snowballing. And here at Mates, this thing, uh, Bobby's been our friend. Uh, before the Van Halen tour, Bobby gave us a sound stage to go out with Van Halen. And here we are, what, 28, 30 years later, uh, and again. we're doing yeah. the same thing again, and with Simon. And Simon came in to our lives from the same guy from ninth grade, because he was on the Monsters of Rock cruise and had Simon's number and some other singers. So I said, yeah, give me his number, have me send, send something. And I got sent Simon playing Angie uh, by the Rolling Stones. And... Uh, the magical mystery of someone so secure and talented just looking into a camera on a computer and what I saw and felt blew my mind. So the first thing we wanted to do, it, I, I said, Randy, can you believe this? And he goes, oh, can you believe this? But when we sent it to Lynch, he was on vacation, he came home and he just went, that guy can play guitar, oh my God. And I said, yeah, and he's kind of sexy too, you know? You know and it just, just started folding space, man. And I, I, I don't want to talk anymore, it's that simple. This thing is really simple and pure. It's, it's like how I kind of started before all the business. I wanted to have fun and enjoy what 
talent I have with other guys, you know, and, and that was the purpose of the whole thing. And all of a sudden we made it with Van Halen and Motley Crue, Dio, all that stuff, Ozzy, MTV. But it just kind of got, you know, I got caught up in the whole thing. So the band got caught up in the whole thing and we were just kind of all back to back at the end, you know. And who thought we would have a second chance 28 years later, you know, and, and Ish, we all miss Ish, you know, rest in peace. You know, we really miss him a lot. And we went to Plunk and said, hey, let's do this. You know, we put our hands out. And Plunk basically talked to Randy and said, no, you guys go out there. I'm doing my TV. I'm doing all my, my film stuff. You know, he's in a different genre in his career right now. And so, you know, Simon fell in. You know, we didn't do any auditions. I met Simon 11 weeks after he was asked to join the band. <laughs> uh, it's the weirdest thing in the world. So he was already our singer. I was his drummer. And then we met 11 weeks later. OK, I'm going to give it to Simon now. Is that the truth? Did I tell the truth? Uh, forget all this. It's all lying. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 he's, no, he nailed it pretty much. I mean, we've, we were friends already on, on the phone for two months and, you know, ex, you know talking about everything which you know just very comfortably and we just knew that this was gonna you know turn out this way it was, there was no doubt you know there was a it was just very natural from my perspective I you know I got a, a, a message from his friend Rich and uh, he said you know there's a band that's looking for a guy I asked what band it was when he told me I was like very excited about it because it's like I love this band I've oh, you he know, called you no, yeah, no. He, uh, Rich, uh, his friend, emailed me because he be because he saw me uh, playing at the uh, Monsters of Rock cruise, and uh, and he said, that, you know, if you're into this, I'll give you the guy's phone number, and uh, so he gave me his phone number, and then you know it started out from that, and then we just you know as we talked, we we knew where everybody was, you know standing and uh it's just developed naturally and everything has been very very effortless and it, it's uh you know there's really nothing to fight against it's, it's just happening and we're, we're just doing our part and you know and not being schmucks basically because <laughs> basically <laughs> what, what, you would, i mean you'd have to really f screw this screw up right <laughs> if you if you <laughs> but uh and then then i i i, I met randy in the marina del rey in his favorite bar and um we you know we hung out and um i've been talking to to steve on the phone and we we exchanged the uh, riffs on the speaker phone yeah. and uh, you know and we were, hard we were learning songs just figuring out riffs going back and forth while the phone was on and it was just on speaker phone but we could hear each other playing so we were trying to figure out the songs and the parts that we were going to play together over the phone well so. lucky in 20 years ago it wouldn't happen this way right Absolutely. no uh, no uh, no i mean the thing is uh, is um there's there's chemistry and there's friendship and um, the, the the spiritual side of it is very important in the situation because as more mature I hate to use this word uh, okay, I'll let you, as, a, good. as more mature men there we are you know we understand what are really the important things in life and the more you understand that it seems like the more easy things happen instead of just wanting something so much or trying so hard and that's that's what's happening right now and uh, I am absolutely honored and uh, I feel privileged to to have this opportunity to be be with these guys and uh, I, I was always a fan of the band and uh, I feel like my vocals uh, fit right in and I, f I feel really really comfortable with this and I hope that um, I don't hope anything. I just everything's going to happen anyway. But I'm just saying, I, I know. Looking, looking forward to, to go out and play, and set the whole world on fire, and then pro probably eventually make an, another record. You know, that would be cool. And oh, just, yeah. just to say real quick that Randy, Kenny, and I feel just as privileged to oh, have yeah, Simon. Absolutely. You know. absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you. Thank absolutely. you, guys. So tell me about any, you say about recording something? Or yes. What are the next we, we are all yeah, songwriters, so, and, and we, we write in the same mold, so it's going to be very easy for, <laughs> for us to, to get together. Are you eating his arm? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, it's it's, it's going to be pretty easy ass, for, yeah. for the whole chemistry thing to come together. I mean, it's already come together just from us having this first rehearsal together with me, and, and it's, just, it's clicking, so I know that when it comes time to sit down and actually start writing, you know, and recording, it's going gonna, it's gonna to just fall into place very quickly. Do you have anything already written? 
We have, yeah, all of us have things written separately, but now it's just together, yeah. bringing it all together, deciding which ones we want to we want to put into this project. That's good. Yeah. Yeah. We have a project. This is not a project. We we plan to do uh, what thirty six to five year plan. I mean, I mean this is year? thirty no thirty six <laughs> months to five years. I don't think I'll make it. To I don't seven. think I'll make it. To <laughs> when you're one hundred and eight, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> autograph. <laughs> so yeah, the plan. This is long term. This is not a cash and run thing, you know, to do some casinos. This is, you know, this is going to be real. We're and have fun. you know, we can't discuss business, but already the record thing is coming up, you know. And tomorrow's our first management production meeting for the future. You know, the the thing that is set in stone now is the monsters of rock. Uh, we're, this would be the next step. No, no, not the, the next, next step, but the, the the only thing that we are it's doing that is signed, that is booked. Okay. Now is in March 27th. We're headlining a casino next to the, to the cruise ship for the opening cruise party. But what we're doing is we're going to backtrack in bookings and stuff. So you know, our, our whole thing is getting ahead of us. So we're going to have to catch up with it. But today is our first day of the proof of the chemistry through the phone, through the vibe, and whatever that light is in the universe is shining on us right now. Because if I had tried to put autograph together. It wouldn't have worked. If, if any of us would have tried, if he would have said, hey, I want to autograph together, I want to be your singer, it would have never happened. But whatever universal dominoes hit into each other, it's hitting really hard, you know? And I think we're going to need a bigger seatbelt. I really feel that we're in for a ride. Well, I just wanted we're to really say loud. that yeah, I, I think the more things are going to be booked uh, very, very quickly, and uh, we're going to have more news soon. I mean, this is a very exciting weekend because um, we're all playing together here at Mates, and uh, we had uh, we just took some pictures, and you came here. So we appreciate that very much. Absolutely. And uh, tomorrow we have management, and so um, it's just like a few. We have five dates for you guys. You have what? You do five dates. Yeah. Five ladies, here? ladies waiting outside okay, for a date. Okay. Five, yeah, but five also days. there's there's yeah. the gay bar oh, down the street. For you too. Okay. Yeah, yeah, we are fine. Yeah. <laughs> and, and, and who's the one that gets the two? Uh, Only me and you. Oh, you're you're. you're yeah, oh, okay, yeah. okay. And I want to sing for the band too. <laughs> he bought them from the strip club next door. Yeah, listen, we need we need somebody to play some tambourine. <laughs> okay, okay, yeah. Probably a green one. Or like the con the, the, the flute, the congas. Yes. Conga flute. I can play whatever you want, guys. Uh, the, the electric the flute with a distortion. <laughs> no, that's it. Actually, uh, no plans to uh, include any any keyboard, right? Not no. at this point. No. Yeah, we're gonna go out, uh, strip down, very very hard, very very heavy. It's fun. We're gonna try to keep it so that even if we do use keyboards, it's gonna be something where one of us will be able to cover that on stage. Mm -hmm. You know, because we're gonna keep it a four piece. That's what we want to do. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's more so like case. like I was saying, like in the future, if we use some keyboards on a on a record, then we'll make sure that we're able to cover that on stage. You know, so it'll still just be the four of us. Yeah. Okay, guys. Uh, anything else you want to include in the interview? No. 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 It's nice meeting you. Yeah, nice meeting you. Yeah, thank you. Meeting you. Uh, thank you for having. We uh, can't wait to get out there and play for the fans yeah, again. Yeah, that's we're that's after we're you. Uh, yeah, come out and I'll shake your hand and we'll go play some darts. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, let's uh, play a game over there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Guys, thank you, <laughs> okay? Right, yeah. Enjoy okay. life. Uh, Autograph. Do, do we have to do that thing that every band does that thing like this? No. Uh, uh, to, yeah, to, to be cool. No. Can, we not, can we not do that? Crazy faces, no. <laughs> yes, okay? Like, <laughs> ah, like peace, yeah. love, and understanding. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, man. Thanks, man. <laughs> thank you, guys. If you're Jewish or you're Christian or you're anti-religion, don't need no decision, kind of all the same. Have a world to stop the limit to protect their life in the dark. Or will it feel it?